Hello everyone, this is my presentation answering the question, are all men created equal? Have you ever been asked the question, are all men created equal? It's a fairly common philosophical question that is asked to many people in their lives, and it is often found that many people have different answers on the, on the question. Some people believe that someone's chances at a successful life are random, while others believe everyone is given equal opportunities as long as they use them well. And many tend, to, many tend to try to find a middle ground in this debate. In this presentation, I will be addressing the question, are all men created equal? And explaining to you why not everyone is giving an, given an equal chance in their lives. One example of a way that people aren't given equal chances in their families. No one can be born into a family that they ask for. And many children are born into abusive households or foster care. For instance, one character from the Book of Just Mercy named Avery goes through a lot of abuse from his foster parents. He's frequently locked in his closet, denied food, and subjected to beatings and other physical abuse. And worst of all, when his behavior doesn't improve, his parents decide to get rid of him by tying him to a tree and leaving him there. After Avery is saved from this situation, he is put back into foster care, where his mental state gets worse. Because of the abuse he suffered, he begins taking drugs, and by 17, he is left homeless and mentally impaired. The situation is especially bad for a child who already began showing signs of mental impairment. By feeling the need to use drugs, his mental state only gets worse and worse, which eventually led, leads, leads to him murdering another man. Avery's life was forever ruined because of something outside of his control, his lack of real parental guides. The second way that people are given different chances is differences in how their brain works. For instance, when Tris discovers her test results, Tori, her test administrator, tells her that her results are abnormal and that she should hide them from everyone. She refers to Triss's divergence as extremely dangerous. Triss is forced to hide a part of herself which she doesn't know about until now because it is seen as dangerous. With barely any explanation, she is left confused and afraid for the large portion of the book. Another thing that shows people are born unequally is characteristics that they're born with that are, un that are not changeable. For example, Irene Redfield, a character from Passing, wishes near the beginning of the book that she had not been born black, stating that it was enough to suffer as a woman without her having to suffer for her race as well. This shows that Irene, like many other black women during her time, are, is struggling with her life. Her stating that she is suffering because of two things out of her control shows that she is not equal to someone born without these characteristics even though those things about her are not directly wrong and she is not given an equal chance by the people who judge her. Some people may argue that the phrase, are all men created equal, instead refers to the point of birth and not the circumstances afterward. However, with certain newborns being born into complications that, lead to can, that can lead to death, it is hard to see it that way. For instance, globally, 2.5 million newborns die each year. Even if we were to take the question literally and, assumes only me and assume it only means at birth, even many newborns are not given equal chances. With so many newborn babies dying each year, can it really be said that they are given an equal chance in life? As such, I think, it can, I think that no matter what way you take the question, I would argue that there is an evidence to show that not everyone is born equally. There are so many problems that everyone faces in life, many of which are out of their control. Things like race and sexuality are still regularly vilified in the modern day, despite being out of their control. People who are born with different brains, such as people who are neurodivergent, are still regularly treated as below what others might consider to be normal. Many people are still born into households that cause them to suffer a lot of mental and physical abuse, and some babies don't even get a chance to experience life in the first place. In conclusion, not all men are created equal. Not everyone is given an equal chance at life. Many people are born differently from others that are subsequently persecuted for these differences. With all these terrible circumstances in life, is it still possible to argue in support of the stance that all men are created equal?